What up? Time for our last case of heritage. Uh, it is time, actually. Let's go ahead and start with the four spots in the $2,500 giveaway. Because I'm sure some people only care about that. So let's just get it out the way. I'm not going to make you suffer through an entire case of uh, heritage. Even I am not that uh, much of a uh, a-hole. I mean, I can if you want me to, but I'm not going to do that. All right, so let's put it on the screen. Well, before I do that, let's roll the die. See how many times we're going to go in the random. We're going to go seven times in the randomizer. All right. Put that over there. Let's put this on the screen for you. All right. So we did seven already. Now let's see who's going to win a spot. Four random people in number eight will advance to the $2,500 giveaway, which I'll be doing uh, right after this break is done but I know some of you only care about that giveaway so let's take the guessing game out of that right now going seven times the top four names advanced to the $2,500 giveaway tonight good luck and the money shot seven good luck boom seven times so top four names are Ryan Burkett twice, Joe Pa, and Brian Lutz. Congrats to the four of you. You advance to the $2,500 giveaway. Which as of right now is how many spots total? 52 spots total. I'll be doing that right after I get this break done. Alright, let me clean some stuff up here. Yeah, let's make this easier to read. Sort this out all nice. There we go. All right, let's put this on the screen here. Man, Scotty K went in on this. There you go, Joe Pa. All right, so there's the... Uh, list for number eight I just gotta go grab the case be right back Sorry, Scott, but what have you hit big in this case? What have you hit big? Think about that one. Oh, deja vu all over again. Coolsies. Coolsies. Move this stuff over. Jaguars expected to sign quarterback Nick Foles. Oh, God, I hope not. Come on, Dolphins, make a move. Damn. Sorry about that. But, uh, hey, here's Abraham. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abe. All right. Let's try to be done with this. 
in about an hour 20. What happened with... Oh, you mean if he goes to the Jaguars, Joe? Is, is that what you mean? Oh, hey, look at this. Okay, it is, it is way too bright. Rosen going to, I hope not. I hope Josh Rosen doesn't end up in a heat, I mean a Dolphin uniform. A Mancini Orioles poster. 17 of 30. Pretty cool. There you go. Orioles getting something there. Put it up in your cubicle or something. I don't know. I kind of want to open up all the packs at once. I kind of want to do that. I'm not going to, but part of me does want to. Just so I can get through this as quickly as possible. box what you got let's find out here we go the purple hot box already nice that's like two the other case started the same way with the uh, purple hot box an action for my trout angels Trey Turner Nationals purple hey uh, Wilson Contreras Cubs autograph there you go, Cubbies. A little something for you. Scotty K, at least you got a hit there, man. Better tell the Red Sox purple. Kim Dodgers purple, Marietta Phillies purple,
Trevor Bauer, Purple Indians. Carpenter Cardinals Purple. Blake Snell, Rays Purple. Manea, A's Purple. Purple here for the Brewers, Aguilar. Derek Hall, Astros, Purple. I need to see crazy, a one on one or something. Go out with a bang here. Chris Hill, Red Sox, purple there. Verlander for the Astros to 570. Aaron Judge, Yankees, purple. Box down.
kids of Aida, Dodgers, 99. Gloria, Giants patch. This thing. Hmm. Interesting. Well, Scott, you hit a uh, Wilson Contreras uh, Cubs autograph. Cubs auto. The only one Cubs auto, Scotty. Wilson.
three. Over here falling asleep. Yelich Brewers, So how's everyone's weekend? Anybody do anything crazy? Christian Vasquez, Red Sox Black Variation. Nice. And Alex Bregman. Astros autograph. Snow weekend. Make sure not to uh, eat the yellow ice. Do it, Scotty. Do it. I will say it is expensive to live down here. But I, I would, I'll gladly have you, Scotty. I'll, I'll show you around. I'll give you a hood pass so nobody bothers you. I got you. Uncle Jesse Hood Pass, man, it's, it's good all over the country. Box four. Where's J Mess when you need a time check? Not in Birmingham. Well, I think I'll be all right. The Uncle Jesse Hood Pass has gotten me out of many a dilemma. I trust it.
Is there like a Birmingham somewhere else too? Like a Birmingham, New Jersey or something? <laughs> I mean, Scotty, we are talking about Alabama here, so, I mean, come on. Yo, if you guys ever have, like, problems going to sleep, I highly recommend doing what I'm doing right now. For real? That's not good. That's no bueno. I don't want to hear that, man. Action image, the Grom Mets. <sighs> Get my stretch on. Yankees rookie stars to ninety-nine. That is usually a smart move, Joe Pa. <laughs> Crawford, Mariners Black, Braves Patch, Freddie Freeman. Right. 
four down, eight left. Water time. Here I am. All this sitting down hurts, man. Still not used to having a job where I'm sitting down 10 to 12 hours a day.
I know, right, Joe? Man, you do this, bro. Jeez. I'm gonna have words with Jason. Why would why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to me? Kirby Yates, Padres Black. Honestly, I'm about to just do this break standing up. Because sitting down is not doing it for me. Can you still see the cards? Yeah. Uh, well, if I were you, Joe Paul, I wouldn't, honestly. I would not bother. I really wouldn't. I would wait until the until the, the recap. Or at least watch it once the video is uploaded. And then you could just watch it like in double time or something. <sighs> I hate this break. Chris Bryant, Cubs patch. Now that it's the last one, and, and this is the last of it, I hope. I can't tell you how much I hate this product. Truly. Janice Joplin. Little Kershaw be short print. <laughs> Joke. We're in it together. We're in it together. We're suffering together. Misery does love company. A defensive lineman ran a 4-4-1 in a 40-yard dash. Damn, that's fast. You know, this, this is the kind of break that just makes you question your life. Like, maybe I should have stayed in school. Maybe I should have listened to my mom and become a doctor. What is the meaning of life? Why am I here? Surely it can't be to break heritage. Scotty, I'm about to fall asleep, bruh. Like, seriously. Like, all jokes aside, I'm really about to fall asleep. It's gonna be hilarious. Y'all can, you know, call your friends. Hey, look, this guy's fell asleep drooling on a mountain of base cards for, <laughs> for heritage. And then, boom, next thing will go viral. But for all the wrong reasons. Did I mention I hate this product? I just, I, I, I can't sugarcoat it. I, I'm not going to fake it anymore. I fucking hate Heritage. I should have stayed in school and made something of my life.
That window's looking mighty nice to me right now. All I gotta do is jump through it. No more bills. No more. How many breaks did you fill today? No more questions. No more nothing. I might not do it, Greg, but damn it, this thing is making me, uh, you know, think things that I that I shouldn't be thinking about. Jimi Hendrix. That would be awesome if they somehow found like a Jimi Hendrix cut signature or something and threw it in here. That would be super cool. Oh, heck yeah, there you go, Joe. Momo strikes again. <laughs> She's creepy looking, but she, she ain't scary. Try watching the original ring from Japan. If that was Momo, then yeah, I would be scared then. Greg, how the heck are you? How how are things done under? Well, that's probably an action image. Yellow to the Brewers. Okay, see now we were it was all fun and jokes until you brought clowns in here. Trey Young got ejected today. For what? I have no idea. Only six more to go. Oh, man. Scooter get it with a red patch. Damn, LeBron is close to passing Michael Jordan in the all-time scoring list. Real close to passing Jordan. Thank you very much. Chris Bryant of the Cubs to 999. We're halfway through. Yeah. Can I, can I just put a fire to the rest of this? I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. I wish I could, though. I'm sure somebody would pay me for that. Maybe next time. <sighs> not a happy camper. Jason, I am low-key kind of a fuck. I'm upset. <laughs> I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. And I'm over it. Ooh, what about a clown dressed up as Momo? Oh! 
Hell no. That's a double whammy right there. So Joe Paul, tell me something nice, man. This would be a lot better if you guys were at least talking to me in the chat. Anybody? No, anybody, please? It would be hilarious, Joe. It would be so funny. Especially because I snore like a motherfucker. Like, I think I have sleep apnea. I'm pretty sure I do. So that would be funny. You guys get to see me die on camera. Uh, Louise, the weekend was all right. You know, I, I wish I had... You know, I, I wish... I actually, you know, did something. I pretty much stayed home the entire weekend, so that was pretty boring. I wish I had a girlfriend or something. Then I would have, like, incentive to go out somewhere. Hey, baby, you want to go out somewhere? So instead, I just stay home like a loser. I am going uh, on this little getaway trip uh, a couple weekends from now. <sighs> Gonna go see this girl I've been messing around with off and on for like the last year. I know, right, Joe? This is true. This is true. here right, let's activate turbo mode I gotta double check this stuff anyway so that's another reason why I'm pretty pissed off is that I gotta double check this Am I ready for select basketball? Hell yeah. That stuff is going to be ridiculous. Especially with this year's rookie class. Fire. But you ain't lying, Scott. You ain't lying. Saving them monies. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm about to be 30 years old. And I, uh, you know, I'm tired of being single. I've been single for at least ten years. I mean, I've, I've dated here and there, and you know, I've, I've messed around and I've had my fun, but I really would not mind having a girlfriend, honestly. Hey, an Otani action image for the Angels. What about you, Louise? Are you ready for select basketball? Or maybe in case football? Yeah, 
Hey, a black Zangrenki for the D-backs to 70. Nice. Stamp for the Giants, Willie McAvee, the United Nations 25th anniversary. That's cool. First time I hit that. Number 10 of 50. Wow, that's sick. That's real cool. You called it, Scotty. Though it doesn't look like it's going your way, unfortunately. Nope, that is a 100. Boom. And now I'm a little bit awake now. That was cool. I haven't seen that before. Stacks are getting taller. Five boxes left. Almost there, Jesse. Almost there. Don't lose your mind just yet. Yeah, I was, I was, I was saying, where's JMS when you need a time check? I wonder how long it's been. I fell asleep six times, but they were like, they were micro naps. They were micro naps. Like, I couldn't have fallen asleep for longer than a minute or two. Oh, man. Well, Greg, we have, we have money, so we, we could spend some money on free agency. I would cut Tannehill. That'd be the first thing I'd do. Get rid of him. And we should have enough money to sign foals. But honestly, I would I would rather take care of uh, Xavier Howard and Jawan James. Uh, so, so that my defense will be good to go for years to come there. I like Xavier Howard. He's probably one of the best corners up and coming in the league right now. So, really got to get him paid. Jawan James has developed into one of the better tackles in the in the NFL. So, I'd like to keep him as well. But, you know, I would probably cut Cameron Wake. Uh, and a few players try, just, just to try to get, uh, what's his name? Uh, Foles. Like Devontae Parker. 
Maybe trade him to the Eagles or something. He's still on his rookie contract, but injury plagued. But he could be he, he could be nice for someone. I'm just tired of him being injured all the damn time. Maybe get rid of Kenny Stills, deep threat. I would do a complete reset, honestly. There's only a handful of players I would want to keep. Xavier Howard, Jawan James being two of them. Uh, Rashad Jones, Micah Fitzpatrick. Uh, Ro uh, our linebackers. We got some nice young linebackers. But I would get rid of all our wide receivers, honestly. The only one that I would have kept, we got rid of last year. Jarvis Landry. Wish we would have kept him, but whatever. I I probably would I probably would overpay to get Nick Foles too. Just to prove a point, like I'm, I'm trying to make a change here, and it starts with a quarterback. I'm with you, Bill. I would I would get rid of the whole team with with the exception of a of a handful of people, but everybody gotta go. I'm right there with you. Complete fire sale, complete rebuild. Tannehill got to go, like somehow, some way. Mm, well, see, at least the Bills have made the play. Like I feel like the, the not the Bills, the Lions. I feel like they've made the playoffs at least once in the last five years, right? Many more go Padres black variation. At least the 49ers have been to a Super Bowl in this decade. Jordan Hicks, Cardinals to 99. Literally, as the as a Dolphin fan, all I have going for me is that we're the only undefeated team in NFL history. And that is history, like 1972, so who cares? Hey, for the Rays, Jake Bowers. With the rookie autograph. Still got four boxes to go. What's up, kids? Play. Hi to you, too. Hope all is well.
What's the nicest one you can remember, Joe, as far as autos from Jason and Heritage? Yeah, kids play. That is an understatement, partner. What makes you say that, Joe Pop? I mean, you got to think. Miami's, like, we're starting, like, from scratch. We got a new head coach. We got a new offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator. Like, the whole, just brand new. All brand new. You hit a mystery? What? What is that? What is that, Louise? Yeah, the Nolan Ryan I pulled out of the first Heritage case. That was pretty sweet. A mystery auto. So how does that work? Hey, I got three boxes left. Oh, snap. Ah, is it's a is it a redemption, Louise? Nice, nice. Now I'm interested. Let me know when you get it. Buster Posey, Giants, 570. A runner leading in Miami. It's funny you say that because, you know, Le'Veon Bell wants to play for the, wouldn't mind playing for the Dolphins. And I would not mind having him back there with Kenyon Drake and Frank Gore. Although I don't think Frank Gore is going to re-sign with the Dolphins. Javi Baez Cubs, you mean? Oh, never mind. I see what you're saying there. 
Dude, I would take, I would love Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson's a beast. That's why people saying, oh, Kyler Murray might go to the Dolphins. I don't want to get excited. Because I know somebody will pick him up before he even lands the 13. Because the Dolphins are, you know, too scared to make a move. And go up in the draft to get him. Quarterbacks, in my opinion, are probably the hardest position to to scout. Like it's it's so difficult to tell. Hey, that guy's gonna be a baller in the league. We got a decent O line in Miami. We got a pretty good O line. Problem is, we just we have a terrible quarterback who has no pocket presence and, and does not know how to get rid of the ball in a timely fashion. And last year, we didn't really have a commitment to running the ball either. So, yeah, I like our all line. Dude, Joe Paul, hope you're right, man, because he was a lifesaver for us. Luis Urias for the Padres, rookie autograph. Very nice. I want to see Miami get back to that old school running the ball down your throat. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, old school football. We're going to pass when we need to pass, but we're going to be a run-heavy team. That's what I would like to see the Dolphins get back to. Get back to just good old smash-mouth football. We got a good defense. We just are on the field the entire damn game. Uh, at least on defense. Because offense couldn't score the ball at all last year. And we were not committed to the run. I like Kenyon Drake. I think he could be a superstar in the league. Just got to get those touches. Le'Veon Bell, Kenyon Drake, dual running back committee. Whoo! That would be nasty. I mean, before injuries started mounting, you know, the Dolphins were quietly 4 0. And we had a pretty good offense. And then injuries just started piling up. We lost Wilson for the year. We also lost uh, that other kid that's like 5'6". But he, he kind of reminds me of Darren Sproles. We lost him for the season early on too. I don't know. I'm interested in this draft. I want to see what we do. But I, I really, really, really want us to get rid of Tannehill. Ooh, Le'Veon Bell in Philly would be nice. Hey, Brady the Goat. Hey, say hi to your mom for me, bro. I left my coat there last night. Tell her I said, what up? There we go. Trolls. That is a nice quick way to wake me up.
Damn, Le'Veon Bell in Philly would be nasty. I hear AB might be going to the Raiders. Yeah, Louise, I, I hear that the Mystery Redemptions are usually good players. Uh, Matt Johnston, depends on how I feel. Depends on how, no, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, the break credit random, I will be doing tonight after this break is done. I still have two boxes after this to go through. Bird the world. I'm trying, Matt. I'm trying. You know, I'm, I'm the only dumbass... Uh, on the planet that's actually breaking this stuff, so thank you for the kind words, pay, uh, brother. That's what's keeping me going. That and the fact that I have nothing else to break because everything else in the store is sold out, so that's also good news. Lay Bear, the team name variation for the Yankees. Very nice. As you can see right there, the team name. Pretty sweet. Probably Louise, probably eBay breaks. And uh, I still have some loose boxes of Heritage. So I could probably put together like a two box or a three box. Uh, random division break of that. And of course the dice rolls. That have been doing pretty well, not for nothing. The dice rolls are fun. And probably the same for Tuesday, because new products don't release until Wednesday. So, I'm going to see if Jason can go live for me tomorrow. Oh, a coin! For Al Kaline. A genuine 1970 U.S. nickel. Very nice. JMS, don't worry. I, I I do what I do. Relax. Relax. This is the 1970s. Actually, it says 1970 on there. Pretty, pretty nice. Uh, kids play for not. We are not. Uh, I'm sorry. Those boxes, we are not shipping. It, it, it cost us way too much money to ship it. We still have them. If you want one, we will just charge you shipping and handling. The uh, the boss man was not too happy about that, but uh, we still kept them. So if if you want one or two or however many you want, just send us an email, kids play for life, and I'll let you know how much it'll cost.
Yeah, that's the first coin I pulled for the uh, Tigers there. That's pretty cool. We need to get it top loaded. But yeah, Michael, kids play for life. Uh, I wouldn't expect a response tonight because I don't know how much it costs to ship that. I'll, I'll have to leave a note for my sorters. And then tomorrow I will get back to you. Just, just so you know. Don't want you to think that I'm ignoring you or anything like that. So we pulled a stamp and a coin out of this uh, out of this box. Not bad, or I should say, this case much better. All right, this needs a top loader. The stamp was a giant Willie McAvee. pretty cool I wonder what's more what's worth more the coin from 1970 or like the card I remember growing up people you'd be like oh if you find the car you know if you find coins from like the 1920s or something they're worth a stupid amount of money and I would go around trying to cut you know find as many coins as I possibly could Dang, kids play. That's not cool. Yeah, Scotty K, you must have missed it the first time I said it, but it's Willie McAvee, bro. Here. For the Giants, Willie McAvee, the stamp card. So kids play since you've since you've had that happen to you did you do have you installed like a, like maybe like a camera or something on your front yard or something because I know I would the first time that happens pff, I'm installing like a little you know a little camera inside my freaking mailbox or something. That's a federal crime, isn't it? Stealing, you know, someone else's mail. Oh, thank you, sweet Lord baby Jesus. I can see the light. This box and one more. Oh, fuck yeah. God is good. God is great. How much is it to get a, a P.O. box anyway? Is that like a monthly thing you got to pay for? I know, I know, I know my laws here and there, Scotty K. I know my laws. That's five to ten. Gotcha, Jameis. Huh. Interesting. All right, second to last box, Mojo. Fuck yeah. The torture is almost over.
Hmm. That was a cutter spot. Justin Boars with the Angels now. Nice. Get way away from Miami, bro. Justin Boars a baller. Yeah, I want to see a crazy autograph. Red ink or something. <coughs> Excuse me. Patch for Yolanda Cespedes of the Mets. I'm hoping that last box has stupid fire in it. <coughs> it's funny how like now I'm now I'm wide awake. Four or five boxes ago, <laughs> forget about it. Excuse me. Thank you, sweet Lord baby Jesus. This is the last and final box of Heritage for the full case break number eight. God is good. God is great. Hallelujah. Holla back. Dude, Joe Pa, I got like, I got a little wall going here, and then like, I'm organized though. Like, I got full, my like, organization skills are top notch. Like, I, 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 I am, I am organized. I am organized. I try to be anyway. So after this is done, I'm going to do that $2,500 giveaway. After that's done, I have some uh, dice rolls I need to do. And that's going to be it for the night. And I will probably catch y'all tomorrow. Probably.
Nope, JMS, even then. I'm we're mailing those, dude. I'm not I'm not ripping a, another box of heritage. Unless it's for eBay or like something like that. Personal boxes, we've been mailing them unopened. And Joe Pa, if you have an, if you have entries, we'll see what can happen. But yeah, if somebody buys a personal box of Heritage, slap your name on the box and ship it to you. Louise, all you need is one spot. Last box mojo. Good luck, everybody. Especially those without a hit. Oh, boy. Action image? No, just a short print. That's an action image. Boogie Bad's Red Sox. He was smoking something. <clears throat> Is that you? The light at the end of the tunnel? Oh, well, that's a kind of a disappointment. Lindor, Indians patch. I was hoping for a big time autograph or something. little stack Whew. you know I didn't think it was possible but we made it
we have done it. Case number eight, done. Well, not quite. So I gotta open up these uh, box toppers and whatnot. What's up, DC? DC, your name sounds familiar, man. We got strikeout leaders here. We got Indians, Tigers, Angels. So this needs to be randomed. But yeah, DC, if you want to get into a break, it's simple, man. Just go to our website, ripcitycars.com. Register in a, for an account so you can save $15 on your first purchase. All you have to do is go to ripcitycars.com, register for an account. Once you register, you're going to receive an email confirmation. Forward that email to me at ripcitycards at gmail.com. Once I confirm that you are indeed a new customer, I will reply with $15, well, with a code That'll save you $15 off your first purchase. And uh, while you're on our website, you can just check to see which, what we have. But it's not random. You get to buy your team. You, we do have uh, PYTs, which are pick your team breaks. Sometimes we have random uh, team breaks and stuff like that, but not very often. Unless we're doing a filler or something. Willie Davis, Dodgers, 1970. We have Bob Miller, Twins, 1970 card. What up, Eric? How you doing, my dude? Let's open up these box toppers. We got Mike Trout. By the way, that's not an actual autograph, in case you're wondering. Johnny Bench for the Reds. Yes, sir, Eric. Yes, sir. Good problems. Good problems. Thurman Munson, Yankees. How's your weekend going, Eric? Hope all is well, my dude. Mookie Betts, Red Sox. Roberto Clemente, Pirates. And that's it for the box toppers. Alright, so I have a few things I need to random. For these, y'all know the deal. I'm going to give one to every team because I have multiples. So, for these, one will go to the Brewers, one for the Reds, one for the Braves, one for the Rays, one for the Indians, one for the Astros, so on and so forth. So, everyone will get one. And any other duplicates, it's up to my uh, sorters to give any extras out, but at least everyone will get at least one. Alright, so. Let me write that down.
the flashbacks. I'm gonna random now. All right. So now these need to be randomed. We'll start with uh, these two. So I'm just going to assign numbers. The top team would be number one. The team to the one, two, three. All right. Let's roll a die. See how many times we're going to go in the randomizer. Number three. I'll double that. And let's go six times. What the heck? There we go. So we have one, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna go six times, and the top number gets these uh, 1970s cards. Money shot six, six times. The number two on top, which means the bottom left team. So for this one, we got Cubs, and this one, we got Tigers. So let me write that down. Boom, boom. Dun, dun. For this bad boy, we got five teams. So I assign numbers. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Do that again. I like to put each number down twice to make it more of a fair random. At least that's how it works in my head. Going six times. Here we go. Money shot six. Boom. Six times. Top team is number four. Number four would be one, two, three, four. The Brewers. So congrats to the Brewers getting that black variation there. Flashbacks need to go to one team. All these flashbacks are going to one team. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to throw the uh, checklist card here. Exactly, Scotty. Either way, I lose. So I figured I might as well just make a choice, stick with it, and move forward. Because either way, someone's going to feel some type of way about it. What are you going to do? Alright, so we're going to go six times for these. The top team gets the checklist and the flashback cards. Here we go. Money shot six. Boom, six times. Top team, the twins. There you go. Twins going to get the flashback cards. And the checklist card we got there. Boom. That's the last thing to random. Yeah. Now we can just do our recap. Here we go. Get this over here. Put this over there. Let's start with our variations. Got a, quite a few. All right. So, Glaber Yankees. That's the team name variation, the team color swap right there. Javi Baez Cubs action, Otani Angels action, Yelich Brewers action, Jacob DeGrom Mets action, Moogie Beds Red Sox action, and a Mike Trout action uh, image variation. Patches, Longoria Giants, Freeman Braves, Brian Cubs, Gennett Reds, Cespedes Mets, Lindor Indians. And the good stuff here. Let's start with the autographs. So we had Wilson Contreras Cubs, Luis Urias Padres, Jake Bowers Rays, Alex Bregman Astros, Willie McAvee, 10 of 50 for the Giants, the 1970 U.S. postage stamp, and for the Tigers. 
alkaline, the genuine 1970 U.S. nickel, number 15 of 15. That's pretty sick. I even looked at the coin. You can't really see it, but it does have the year 1970 right there. You can kind of see it. Pretty freaking cool. Very nice. And that was the break, y'all. We also announced the winners of the uh, the four spots getting into the $2,500 promo. Uh, the names were Ryan Burkett twice, Joe Pa, and Brian Lutz. Uh, so congratulations to you. We did that at the beginning of the break. And that's going to be it for it. Thank you very much. We'll get